What's up Tech King? Stefan here from TechRide. In this video, we're going to be doing the gaming review on the new Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE right here in the flesh. Uh, a long-awaited phone for a lot of different people. If you guys are thinking about getting this phone, I would definitely wait till the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals start pouring in later in November and December and stuff because uh, it seems like they're going to be having some good deals on this phone. So first and foremost, the games that we're going to be testing on here is Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, and Genshin Impact. And we're not just going to be testing these games at the default level of graphics, but we're also going to try to run them at the highest graphical settings. As far as a processor and Inside of here we have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor which is pretty much a two-year-old processor or one year and nine months if you guys want to be specific if you guys know the Galaxy S22 was released in February of 2022 so it's almost two years old this processor right here it's really not the greatest processor in the world for me to put in the Galaxy S23 FE but I feel like most people are going to be totally fine with it uh, they're gonna be able to play their video games record their videos you know scroll through social media I feel like for the average person it's gonna be totally fine but in this video we're gonna test out Call of Duty Mobile PUBG Mobile and then the last most graphic intensive game Genshin Impact just a heads up again guys as far as the speakers go they actually sound very very decent this is gonna be a loud phone and we do have stereo speakers so even if you cover up the bottom mic right here we are going to have a separate mic in the headset. So this is definitely going to be a nice gaming setup. And this feels comfortable at 6.4 inches as well. So it's going to be a nicely sized phone, I feel like, for the majority of people out there. As far as our graphics go, our graphic quality is going to be set to very high. And our frame rate is going to be set to very high as well. However, I'm going to set that to max. And uh, we're going to see how this game runs. And again, Call of Duty Mobile is kind of one of those easier litmus tests for video games. It's not really that hard to, to run this game at all on many other devices. Even the Galaxy A14 runs this game very, very well. So it's kind of just more testing out the graphical quality. And it looks like it's doing a pretty dang good job. Uh, and it looks pretty good. As you guys can see, the shadowing is fine. We don't have any hiccups. And uh, our kill streaks look fine. The animations of the kill streaks look good. And this looks to run this absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and drop this missile right here. But um, this game looks great on here. Runs great, and uh, it's going to be absolutely playable on the S23 FE. All right, guys, next game up we have is PUBG Mobile right here. We've played for a couple minutes now. I feel absolutely no heat on the back of this device, and I will update you if I do feel any sort of heat on this device. Again, when I'm playing video games, I feel like this is a comfortable device, but when I'm not playing video games, this kind of feels like a rectangular phone. But other than that, this is a very premium phone, obviously aluminum sides, um, Gorilla Glass 5 on the back and the front so it's a really nice feeling phone this is gonna feel like any flagship out there really it feels super super premium so I feel like most of you are gonna be happy with the build quality on this device it's pretty good and with PUBG it takes a little bit of time to load in before it stops glitching around and that's even on the best phones or best gaming phones out there so do take that in mind uh, going to the graphics over here graphics and audio it looks like graphics are going to be set to HDR and our frame rate is going to be set to ultra and we can actually put it on extreme but we're just going to keep it on ultra and HDR and we can't go above HDR so we have ultra HDR and extreme HDR I don't know what devices can do that but maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section down below but we're gonna go ahead and drop in on ruins. All right, y'all, so we've picked up some decent weapons. I found an enemy already. He's already down. And it looks like we got our first elimination already. Cool, he has absolutely nothing. But the shadowing looks good. Everything looks pretty decent with the graphics so far. Again, this isn't the strongest processor in the world, um, so it's not gonna look amazing, but it looks pretty decent. It definitely looks pretty decent. Uh, feeling no heat so far. Shadowing looks pretty decent on here as well. Look at that shadowing and light on the water, the reflection. That looks good. That definitely looks really, really good. Still really no glitches or hiccups or anything like that so far, so 
definitely impressed how this is going. Um, really no heat either. Is that a person? That dude right here. All right. Let's go ahead and aim down the site. Yeah, so this game definitely uh, plays well. You guys are gonna be able to play this on higher graphical settings. So HDR uh, for the graphics and seems like we actually have one more person. Yeah, no glitching aiming down the site like that either. So definitely uh, like what I'm seeing so far. Also the recoil usually on other devices um, kind of would shake and glitch a bit, but this device is having no issues whatsoever uh, when we're aiming down the site and we're shooting. So, yeah, this game definitely works fine. It looks great and um, really no heating issues at all. Maybe a tiny bit of warmth by the camera right here, but for the 10 minutes we've been playing this game, it's it's been pretty good so far. Let's get this last dude. All right. All right, y'all. So the last game we're going to be checking out on the S23 FE is going to be Genshin Impact. Some of your guys' favorite game out there. Obviously, one of the most graphic intensive games as well. So let's see how this goes. All right, guys. So our graphic quality is going to be set to medium by default right here. And our frame rate is going to be set to 30 frames per second on here as well. And honestly, it doesn't really look too bad like this. However, I would like to play 60 frames per second when I'm playing this game and I do recommend you guys play 60 frames per second as well on this game. It's a lot more enjoyable and a lot more fluid. Let's go ahead and show you how how this looks. 60 frames per second, medium graphical settings. It looks much better than 30 frames per second. Look at that. Tornado. So yeah, this graphic quality looks very, very good. Something that I can compare it to, I'd say, is like Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild um, on your Switch, on your Nintendo Switch. Um, but these graphics actually look really good. And I don't think Nintendo on Breath of the Wild gets a constant 60 frames per second either. I think it's at 30 or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. So this honestly looks really, really decent. Walking around, obviously we see all of the foliage and the castle and everything in the background um, we have our shadowing on here as well that doesn't look amazing but for medium graphic settings it looks really decent so our graphic quality could be a little bit better but again this is a snapdragon 8 gen 1 chipset so you know on medium graphic settings at 60 frames per second you guys will have little to no glitches you, you still might find yourself have a little hiccup inside of here but for the most part the graphics and the gameplay look pretty decent on this um, now I would let you guys know that long video game sessions um, may warm up the back a little bit but in my experience it seems like around this camera right here I don't know if the chipset or, or the battery or something is by the camera but it it seems like it heats up a little bit more right here it doesn't seem to have any heat over here too much but we do have a little bit of warmth over here nothing super uncomfortable so again if you guys are wearing um, a case or some you guys aren't going to feel it at all, but uh, you can experience some heat at times by the camera So that's definitely a con about this That's really the only con I would uh, I would find in this phone about playing video games is if you're playing a high graphic quality game like Genshin Impact or even you know, I don't think PUBG would really do it, but Genshin Impact You guys are going to experience heat during long gaming sessions. So just want to let you guys know that um, if you guys are looking for a really decent gaming phone again ROG has some good stuff out there and there's separate um, entities or separate companies that actually have video gaming phones that have internal coolers inside of them and stuff so this isn't one of those devices that's going to be amazing for the top gamers out there but if you're a casual gamer this is gonna be fine totally totally fine and I feel like for the majority of the world this is gonna be totally fine as well but yeah, Genshin Impact is absolutely playable and it looks decent.
Alright everyone, so that was the gaming review on the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. I feel like the only con that I said again was that if you guys are playing a little bit more graphic intensive video games, uh, you are going to experience some heating, especially in long sessions around the camera right here. So not the greatest processor in the world for keeping a phone cool and I think uh, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 was kind of famous for that, <laughs> overeating and stuff like that, recording stuff. So not the greatest processor in the world. Again, it can play all of these games. And uh, for most people out there, this processor is going to be totally fine for playing the video games that you play. Yeah, guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, please leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to see more videos, definitely hit that bell. But this has been some fun from TechRite. Hopefully you guys have a great day. Peace out, Tech Gang.